guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna make some cookies. And these are called dish pan cookies, and these are the cookies that I used to make at camp for the kids, and they loved them so much. So, I've got everything pretty much pre-measured, so we shouldn't, it shouldn't take us too long to, to get them stirred up. Hopefully. So, the first thing we're gonna do is add a stick of butter into the mixer. And I have let this sit out for room to room temperature to let it get softened up. And then we're going to add a half a cup of Crisco. Now this recipe is, I have uh, cut the recipe in half because it makes such a big amount and uh, I don't need that many cookies today. So there's the half a cup of Crisco. That's why the recipe is smaller. But this, it does make a, a big batch if you use the full recipe. Okay. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And I just use the cap, and that's about a teaspoon. And then we're going to add two eggs. I have them already in the cracked out, and there's two eggs. Okay. Mix her on. And see how that works. Now, the next thing that we're gonna add when that gets all mixed up is I have a cup of brown sugar in this bowl, and I have a cup of white sugar, and I also have a, a tablespoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then I here I have one and a half cups of flour plus two tablespoons. One and a, one cup, a half a cup, plus two tablespoons of flour. And that's what's gonna go in here next. We're gonna get this all mixed up. So in goes the brown sugar, the white sugar, the baking soda, and the, oh, there's like one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and then the flat, that's what we're going to put in, and then the flour. So that all goes in there, and we're going to add the flour. The reason this is, is raised up is that's that two extra tablespoons of flour in that half a cup. Okay. Turn the mixer on again. And we're going to mix that until it's mixed well. Matter looks really good and it smells delicious. It smells really good. And I'm gonna mix it just a little bit more because 
I've seen a few little lumps of brown sugar in there. So I'm going to mix it again. going to do next is we have to mix this all up but we have to be very careful and mix it easy okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in two cups of instant oats that goes in there then we're going to put in two cups of corn flakes just plain old regular cornflakes. That makes the cookies crispy and crunchy. Okay, now in here I have a cup of walnuts and you can use any kind of nuts you want. You could use pecans if you like. And then I have um, a cup of craisins. You could substitute those for raisins if you want to. Actually the recipe called for uh, raisins but uh, I wanted to add craisins and then there is a um, uh, what did I put a cup or a half a half a cup of coconut is in here so we're gonna add that to the mix and we're gonna mix this up just enough to get all of that incorporated into the dough We certainly don't want to crunch up all the cornflakes, do we? Whoa, that looks good. That looks so good. Now, if you did the full batch, I'm not sure how many cookies that it makes or even this half a batch makes, but Maybe we'll know when we get done. But this is a a pretty pretty good size recipe anyway with it being halved. Gonna eat that one bite. Mm-mm. to put it on an ungreased baking sheet which I have right here turn this camera down a hair maybe Okay, we're back, and I baked two pans, and uh, they are very, very tasty. I tasted one. You can taste the cranberries, the the uh, pecans, the coconut, the brown sugar. It's such a good, good flavor, and it makes a nice little snack cookie, and um, <clears throat> I think you'll like them. They got a lot of, of goodies in them and it's something different, and it's not really that hard to, to mix up. But I did want to tell you, I added a half a teaspoon of salt to the, the little bowl that had the oats in it. I put the salt in there, and I forgot to mention that it called for salt. So I did add salt, and I put it in the oat bowl and added it to the mix. So these cookies are very, very good. And they're <clears throat> they're chewy, they're moist, and they have a little bit of crunch to them. 
especially on the edges. Very good. Very, very good. Hope you try these uh, dish pan cookies. See you soon.